All right, let's get into the the big news of the day. Wait, is Trump getting uh, arraigned right now? Or I thought it was going to be at 2.15. Well, 2.30 is the scheduled day. And then we were hearing that he was supposed to arrive at 11.30. I mean, there's just like a lot of ambiguity around it. So it's hard to say. But I mean, I know right, Bradley, well, you'll you'll keep on it following and, it, and yeah, let us know. So. Right. OK. Um, in the meantime, it is an absolute circus uh, in New York City today. <laughs> um, Lots of it, undercover cops just showing up and weirdos saying that they're Q and then uh, reporters. <laughs> um, I, 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 uh, let's start with uh, clip number two. Um, and these are uh, pro and anti-Trump supporters that are gathered outside of the Manhattan criminal court. This is ahead of the arraignment. Um, it turns out that there seems to be more anti-Trump, um, more anti-Trump uh, protesters than pro-Trump protesters. Uh, here they are. This is clip number two. A lot of reporters. I mean, the, apparently, like uh, one of the uh, anti-Trump protesters put down a banner that said Trump lies all the time. I mean, really hard to argue with that. But apparently she did it on the wrong side of no. where they were. And you can hear, you know, a nice mix of like uh, of uh, some anti-Semitic comments and some other um, really pleasant uh, mm -hmm. a group of people down there. Um, and and then, of course, this is an opportunity for every lunatic um, who is in the Trump orbit to show up. Here is Marjorie Taylor uh, Greene, fresh off of her. Um, I, I don't. What would you call what happened with um, oh. with uh, uh, Leslie Stahl on CBS? Uh, a, a minute, like her reformation. Yeah. Essentially. Let me just just before we get to this clip, just say screw. 60 Minutes and Leslie Stahl for uh, that embarrassment of an interview where uh, there was a moment where uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene said, quote, the Democrats are uh, the party of a party of pedophiles, then also said uh, Joe B Biden, quotes, uh, quote, supports children being sexualized. And Leslie Stahl's follow up was, can you just stop with the name calling? And then they did went into a montage about how committed she is to CrossFit. So. Just, I mean, we're normalizing this woman who tried to overturn the Democratic results of an election and believes that uh, school shootings were false flags and that there are Jewish space lasers controlling everybody. And like, it, you, it's hard to watch that interview and come away with anything except for like, maybe someone saw it and thought, hey, she's not as bad as I thought, because right. that's the only outcome possible uh, with that interview in terms of needle moving. With that right. said. <laughs> and, 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 and let's be clear. There's I, I, I have no issue with somebody interviewing really anybody right on on their show. I mean, if you're in the the if you're a, a journalist and I don't think that there's necessarily something wrong with the act in and of itself of of platforming, particularly someone who is a congressperson. I mean, she she is she doesn't. It's not a question of being platformed with Marjorie Taylor Greene. It is a question of being represented in a way that is um, that is accurate as to how you got into that seat and the way that she got into that seat by any accounting has to include things like, you know, the, the Jewish, uh, you know, weather machine that they have or space lasers or uh, the, the the harassment of AOC or the 
Um, I mean, all of these things were are why she is where she is today. You are doing a disservice by not making that clear, by not having the people who watch this interview walk away with that understanding. Everybody name calls in politics. Not everybody who gets to take the gavel over for uh, Kevin McCarthy has accused Jews of having space lasers. Yeah. I mean, and, and she and, and the thing is, is Stahl gave lip service to some of those things in the interview, but they were not the, f the primary focus of it. Um, it was really what that format is in 60 minutes is a walk and talk humanization vehicle. Yeah. And that is not th th there are one on one interviews that can be incredibly adversarial. We've been seeing it go viral with Jon Stewart on like weekly. But that th the reason that that was selected was because the nature of that one on one interview is not adversarial. It really has never been. So, I mean, I thought that was unconscionable. But but yep. but but like, yeah, I mean, here she is back doing her thing in New York, rallying for Trump and saying nonsense. Here she is uh, interviewed on Right Side Broadcast. I think this is by her uh, her boyfriend, right? She said, yes. right? Or is that, okay, her boyfriend's Blind interviewing. Blend. So I wasn't I sure. He, he's I, almost I, just, he, he's almost a little tougher on her than uh, Leslie Stahl. <laughs> Let's go. President Trump is joining some of the most incredible people in history being arrested today. Um, Nelson Mandela was arrested, served time in prison. Jesus, Jesus was arrested and murdered by uh, the Roman government. There have been many people throughout history that have been arrested and persecuted by radical, corrupt governments. And it's beginning today in New York City. Um, and I just can't believe it's happening, but I'll always support him. He's done nothing wrong. Mm. You think they carpooled? Mm. <laughs> Jesus and Nelson Mandela. Um, I I am so sad that uh, Michael's not here for for, for this. Um, Perfect tee up for right wing Mandela here. But. Jesus and Nelson Mandela um, have gone to prison. There's others too. She could. Yeah. There's a whole. You know, uh, Gandhi, I believe, was arrested. Am I not? Am I mistaken about that? I'm quite. Martin quite, Luther King, but that Martin might King? that might be a little bit raw for some of her voters in Georgia. So she doesn't want to bring that up. Well, Mandela was, uh, but maybe she's hoping that pe some of her voters don't really know who Mandela is. They've just heard the name, perhaps. Yeah. Um, it, you know, I, I mean, for that, you know. Uh, Malcolm X was in prison, and, mm -hmm. and not necessarily as Malcolm X uh, per se, or I guess he he, uh, he didn't go in as Malcolm X. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah. Who else? Bernie I mean, Madoff. Bernie Madoff also went into prison. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's many true. many wonderful people throughout history, and uh, honestly, you could say it's a rainbow coalition of people who were uh, are great people and also horrible people who have all gone to prison. And so to paint them with the brush that she's choosing to, uh, I mean, that's a choice. It is pretty amazing. Um, we should also say, um, you know, I mean, to be fair, Hitler also went to prison and, uh, you know, for uh, for a, a putsch that not necessarily too different from uh, January 6th. Yeah. So uh, there's there's opportunities. She chose to go with Jesus and Mandela. Um, I, How about Jeffrey Epstein, Marge? She you also, know? yep, he also but, went to prison. There's a lot of people she could have used. Yeah. Uh, Ted Bundy, I'm reminded. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, there it is. Um, we As can we say, though, we, yeah, there's so, some... Oh, sorry, just, just yeah, sorry to interrupt, guys. Breaking news. Yeah, per the New York Times about uh, seven minutes ago, Trump surrendered to the New York authorities, and he'll be arraigned before a judge soon. We could take a look at his walk. It's, it's from a little further back, just because there's so much security. But um, if you'd like, we can also just take Let's a look at Let's see it. I mean, he see, stands out in, should, the cr in the crowd. <laughs> we should remind people, this is all orchestrated by t Trump. He had the ability to get arraigned by Zoom. He decided not to. There's no handcuffing. Um, then uh, when he insisted on actually walking in there, his uh, Secret Service details said do it at night. He said, no, I want to do it in the middle of the day. Um, so this is all sort of arranged by Trump. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. That's him way down there. Yeah. There he goes. Past the 
the other uh, reporters around. Maybe not. They really, uh, they really did not make it fun. Well, that's the thing too. Is like, I mean, we'll, we, again, this broke seven minutes yeah, ago, yeah. so, so we'll I'll get see some if there's other any angles. Better footage, but that was the original footage. He also, uh, I'll, I'll put this up in a second, but he also was was truthing on the way to the arraignment. Oh, oh, I bet he he likes to walk in truth. Um, but I I uh, I do like how there's kind of this. Uh, push and pull between him and the the judge who he clearly also wanted cameras in the courtroom and they said no which kind of a bummer but they he's trying to make this into this a circus and they don't want that to happen obviously so here's that truth here from when he's going to the arraignment he says heading to lower manhattan the courthouse seems so surreal wow they're going to arrest me can't believe this is happening in america maga <laughs> Toodles. To think I was uh, so in favor of like the Central Park Five to be arrested. And <laughs> so many times my father paid off officials so that I wouldn't get arrested. Mm. And uh, finally I get caught up after after becoming president. It's, like, know, it's the, like a yearbook quote. It's yeah. like, can you very believe sentimental. that? Can you believe all this? Yeah, they, they really say life comes full circle and... <laughs> and now I'm going to get arrested. Here we are. I mean, it brings a tear to my sentimentality. I mean, just like his father, right? Fred Trump's been to wasn't he, wasn't Fred Trump arrested at one point? Well, uh, I don't wrong? know if he was arrested, but he certainly had uh, issues with the DOJ over uh, denying mm. housing to uh, black people. <laughs> yeah. um, 